Hi friends, I'm D Vegan. I make a salad today and it's very simple but I have some more ingredients today. Let's see, go the Asian direction. I have carrots, I have red bell pepper, I have cilantro, I have cauliflower. Um, I will combine all that here in my salad bowl and I show you step by step all the single ingredients. And I guess there's a nice purpose, and for a good purpose I put them together. So here I have two crunchy ones. Yeah, I would say the cauliflower has a lot more water than carrot. That's just for my feeling, I didn't look it up, but I feel that here is more water in there. But both are crunchy. This is firmer, this is lighter. And both have a wonderful flavor. A little bit sweet, a little bit bitter. They go very nicely together. And I cut the cauliflower, you see, in slices. Yeah, just the florets, you see. A um, little bit more carrot. I julienne the carrots. And how to julienne the carrots, so slicing the cauliflower, the raw cauliflower is very easy. But julienne the carrots, cur uh, cur carrots takes a little bit more time. You have these little sticks, you know, and it's very easy that you have the carrot put in the cutting board in a half. Then you have two halves and you cut in slices the two halves. And then you go one more time, for so the third time, and the, when the, the half, the slices fall down, you cut them into strips, into sticks. And that's how julienne is working, very easily. The big chefs, they have to learn that professionally. I don't need that here for my purposes, for just one person or so, that's very easy. You have these uh, julienne carrots. And they go nice with, with cauliflower. So I have to put here some nicely cut ingredients for the base for an for a, um, Asian kind of salad, style, Asian style salad, because they like to do that. They cut them up, you have these fresh um, vegetables, and then they put it together. And the third part here, the third part is, again, it is crunchy, but more water than both. It's a red bell pepper, you see also here, small strips. Yeah. I have the segments of the red bell pepper, the segments, and then I cut each segment into these strips. And that's basically the whole bell pepper. This is uh, most of the ingredients is bell pepper. It has very sweet flavor. Uh, so this is between the texture of the others and balancing them with a bigger sweetness, greater sweet sweetness, and a lot of water. So the three main ingredients, I guess, um, are a nice harmony and they play into this um, Asian picture. So they have uh, three uh, more ingredients to top this. Uh, this is the main part and the topping is almonds, yeah, some chopped almonds. Yeah, that goes together with all of these, with carrots, with red bell peppers, uh, with cauliflower, raw cauliflower, that's perfect. And the same is what I would say with chili pepper, red chili pepper, seeded and cut in small pieces, and uh, spring onion. This is both typical for Asia too. So all these Asian characteristics, put them here. Yeah, the two, the second part uh, is more um, additional, yeah. Uh, flavor, um, nutrients, yeah, the nuts add fat. So this is more the biplane, yeah. So two, a main part and a second part, the biplane, yeah. So I have six already, six ingredients, and that's also characteristic for these Asian. They have a lot of small pieces here and different ingredients. So this is my salad basically, and now to the side, I turn to the dressing. Yeah, that's also very important and also here I have a favor for the Asian flavors and that to me would be um, first lime. I have here two limes yeah. and I make it very easy today. I don't make it fancy. I just here lime into my, you see two limes juiced here, a lot of juice. I need a lot of juice because I want to have a lot of dressing here. It's lime juice. and. I put the oily part, also very simple. I could have used sesame seeds, blended them with a little bit of water, the same effect. But the sesame oil is here. 
um, a good alternative to make it very easy, I don't need a blender here, just a, a tablespoon or two of sesame oil and it goes into the lime juice and that would be not enough because the sesame oil has a very strong flavor, harsh can be, and you want to make it a little bit more mellow. That's why I put a little bit of olive oil together with the sesame oil to make it a little bit lighter, the flavor, you see. So I have a little bit more oil now, but it's still only a small part of the dressing because the lemon juice, the lime juice, is the bigger part. And now, as I have such a large, a lot, uh, such a, lot, uh, a big part of lime juice, I also put some agave nectar on top. This is a raw agave nectar. We can take any kind of sea. You see, this is a, a large amount of agave nectar to play with the lemon, with the lime juice. Now I have basically three, three parts here to make it sweet with the lime. This is very sour, and. Um, um, that's also Asian. Yeah? Asian, this sweet sour is definitely uh, characteristic for the Asian. And the seasoning now here, it comes to this is a basic pepper and salt. Yeah, I like this as a basing, it's a half teaspoon each. And I have a piece of garlic here and a ginger. And this is grated chili. This is grated ginger. This is um, pressed gar garlic. I have a, one glove of garlic cut into pieces and pressed with a fork or with a knife on a cutting board. And then you have this garlic. And you don't need a blender for this, so it's very easy. So ginger, garlic, pepper and salt, all Asian flavors. Yeah. That's the idea, how to create an Asian flavor. Yeah. Put a little bit of salt here, it doesn't matter. So let's see. Well, this is now basically it. I will add one more part. Asian part, but I will now um, put my lid on top and shake it. This is the easy way to make a dressing, a very quick dressing. I like this kind of making dressing. No blender needed. Now let's taste it. I just need now to cut um, my ginger, to grate it, uh, whatever you like, uh, because I need to grate the pepper when I don't need a blender. Oh yeah, oh, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. Um, so this is my dressing, my basic dressing. And if you count it well, I have six ingredients. One is missing for making the take three recipe, and that's your cilantro. I have a whole bunch of cilantro. Of course, this is definitely Asian part. I will put some here into the dressing. Maybe I can use everything. I then the rest, the rest I can simply put into over the salad. It doesn't matter together with the dressing. If it doesn't fit in here. Let's see. I want to have the flavor of the cilantro in the dressing. Um, well, I put the, the rest of the cilantro bunch. I just put it here on top. You see, that is very easy to make it very easy. I want to have a lot of cilantro in here. It's my green here. Are very nice and it should be in the dressing but with this small container it doesn't matter and now I put the dressing on top and then I will, I will now toss everything and it can be eaten right away but as you have seen the ingredients here are, are already firm now the cilantro is not firm but it's very tender but it is in the dressing it's there um, to boost the salad flavor a little bit, to make it more Asian-like. And the other ingredients, they are firm, they can sit for a while too. So you can make this salad a little bit in advance of the top of it when you want to serve it. But you can also eat it right away, because it's a very nice flavor. It's very crunchy, texture, and of course full of healthy nutrients. It's right away, it's perfect, you don't need to wait for it, to eat it. I have to taste it right now, I'm so curious. Um, I will taste it, let's see. Just have some, some parts together here. Well, I can, I can have an idea. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. I love it. Crunchy, firm, Asian flavors. 
nice textures. Perfect. It takes a little bit more time to cut everything up, but that's something I actually like to do. I like to play with my ingredients. That's how I also get to know them. And I'm Julienne, a carrot, for once. You get to know the carrot when you do it. You see how it slices thinly, what it looks like when it's translucent. You see all these things and you feel it with your fingers when you touch it with your hands. I like to have this kind of contact with my ingredients. A lot of fun. And we, you know, I mean, we also absorb nutrients through the skin. Like the babies do all the time. And the grown-up, we can do that too. And I can feel it. I like to work with these things if they're healthy. And well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for following my invitation into my virtual kitchen on the internet. And you can also subscribe, MD Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day. And also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.